Tom and what you do. So my name is Angela and I am a scientist. I work at the University of Exeter. I'm a chemist by training but I work on pigments. And could you tell us what you talked about in the soaps today? So I told people how wonderful pigments are. All of the things that we can find out if we get samples from pigments. I've told them about the fact that we can reconstruct the past, about the fact that pigments are carbon storage and how they might respond to climate change. And I've also told them what wonderful they are in terms of water and water storage and water um, filtering water, giving us clean water and so on. So I've just told them how wonderful pigments are really. <laughs> You more or less just stepped off the sofa. Yes. How did it feel? How did it go? Was it like you expected? Um, it was actually, I wasn't nervous. I thought I was going to be really nervous. But once I stepped on the box and started talking, I didn't, oh, I didn't start with your question, did I? Okay. So I've just stepped up from my box and I, I no no what was the question? Yeah, sorry. Okay, I've just stepped off my box and I um, thought that I was going to be really nervous, but actually once I stepped on, I started talking and people were really interested. So I just forgot about the nerves and then I just had a really good time and. Um, I know that people say it felt really short for them, but for me they feel short. <laughs> I felt I was there for a long time. <laughs> you were for more than an hour. <laughs> so one of the main aims of Soapbox Science is to increase the visibility of women in science and try and address that gender imbalance that exists. Do you think that things like Soapbox Science can make a difference? So women in science, so increasing the visibility of women in science, um, I think is uh, quite a subtle thing and I think quite a difficult thing to do. So I think this is one little grain of sand, but maybe a necessary grain. But I think what I love most actually is that people have not notice that we're women. People just were interested in the science and I think that's really wonderful. Um, and I had as many girls as boys interested, you know, and sort of pointing at the feet and saying, oh, I'm touching 300 years old feet! So, no, so it was great. So I think, you know, in some ways the great thing is that nobody noticed we were, so, we were women. They noticed just that we were passionate about those subjects, I think.